they saw in their matchup yesterday against four anchors. You remember in the last game, but Tumba Man was it was a ridiculously manly performance on Sven. So. Affa Ninja, is, uh, there has been some musical lane action here from HR. They'll send the puck to the safe lane. Already gets initiated on, and there's a first blood in the other lane as we watch this one. It's in the mid. Waga becomes victim of that first rotation from Dazzle and Sven. And up top, PSM diving deep onto Bambo with that ion shell. He's only level two here. Bambo gets a much needed last hit with that blood. time with the ion shell, but it's a blood seeker, and as long as he's going to get the last hits, he'll get the extra benefit of the uh oh what you don't count on is a tusk rolling on in top to get the early snowball attack. from south rotation because they have a nice effective push they can quickly retreat but roman kind of turns in a circle and now is running out the awkward way it's kind of telekinesis to pull back he gets the help of an ion shell from his was down a barricade, a very nice one to stop Bambo, but oh, he gets sent from above with the faithful. Now EGM is here, there's nowhere to run, there's going to be a bigger weight for you if necessary, but it's not. They just get the easy last hit, and that's going to be coming from Bambo. All right, nice rotation there from 4CL. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, more simultaneous action. That's a solo kill on a puck, the gyrocopter just so far ahead of him here. A few others, so... Sven already in a, a pretty good position, leading the board and then also having some creeps waiting for him in the jungle. But down bottom, Weehaw could be in trouble. Uh, some trouble here. Yeah, they know that they're by four Wolver members, so they could put themselves in trouble, and they will. Oh. Roman's going to be going down first, and now a follow-up from Bambo rotating this bottom lane gets up a beautiful rupture. Doesn't need to connect with the blood, right? And Weehaw in the meantime, big rocket barrage to kill off the darks here. Goddamn! TP way, he certainly can. Makes it out with the help yep. of that shallow drain, which he's finally able to get to. But man, disaster oh, man. overall. I was checking. PSM creeping almost too far. He's on top of a board he doesn't know about, so he's like, I'll just safely farm this centaur. While the GM appears, he smacks down the fish and block out the camp. He's going to be connected with a rupture. No one runs high. Here comes the blood right. Drops his own wall, but they still can't get him. It's actually both can't participate in helping him kill because. He has no life, but luckily there's Vanscore to the rescue, steps in, finishes off what was started, and finally the Darkseer goes down. You gotta remember, Matamba Man, once he got the BKB on his stand, that's when the game Radiance got really top tower so is under we'll attack. see how Grace are able to do a bit the same here. Out, but they get the snowball out, they get the there's the punch, and they're gonna smack him up and down. That look to move in, oh, look to the nice so strong here, but his days are eventually gonna be numbered. He's gonna stop and take it down, the first catch is the up, this breakout, very nice key, he's gonna fly out the gun. Follow up, EGM gets the connection of the Echo Slam. They finish off PSM in the meantime, and now they head to the south. Weeha, though, cleaning up the pieces from the back of the back. It's Apple NJ. Goddamn gets a shallow grave, but this time there's no TP to make it out with. So he goes down. A big victory in Sweden. Oh, my. Clovers. Standard here for your gyrocopters. So Regeneration! Red still gonna run. He's pants the whole way through. Oh he doesn't my even God. care. He's like, I gotta get He's so away. low. Help me. Not gonna happen, though. They get the visual connection. Roman is going to be stuck in the tree to come thereafter. Dyer's Four Clovers, <laughs> after already taking a big four-man drop, they get a two-follow-up here. They're 12 to 2. And so there, there's a lot on this Sven to really secure kills in these team fights, and they Dyer's just simply can't do it. Up top, Glyph will come out. Van Score going to duke it out against PSM to try and find the last hit on this tower. Who gets to deny? Who gets the last hit? Oh, it's Vanscore! He fakes him out! PSM thought he had it, but now Epininje is on his way in. Vanscore may have denied the tower! Oh, Daddy! He takes the Darkseer with him before the puck finds the kill. Oh, Vanscore making it happen. Now FNNJ, possibly in some trouble here. Does have a Blink Dagger, uses it aggressively. Going on to EGM, RMN's here as well. But out comes the Echo Slam, and now Sexy Bambo. He'll go for the puck, while EGM goes for RMN. They do finish off the Fairy Dragon. EGM so low, just a handful of hit points, but it's a double for Bambo. Disasters all over the place for the Hellraisers. Top lane, they're about to... Radiance Top Tower has fallen. But, mid... They set up onto the Tusk, Rupture to get things going. He will snowball out of the blood right, but Bambo says, well, I've got a BKB, son. I'm ready to rock and roll. That's 10 seconds of magic immunity. Yields a double kill in the mid lane. Now a wicked six streak confirmed, and as you were talking about up top, a tower was killed while all that was going on. So at that point, yep. you don't like that. So with the last well. bits of his dragon form, once he got one damage to 
hits like a truck, so he's able to chunk through this tower pretty damn fast. Yeah, there is a glyph available for the Radiant side here. Sven just made it back to the base after killing uh, the Dire Ancient stack again. Tier 3 tower looking like it may go down here, but there's the initiation. They go cruising on in. Sexy Bambo takes a lot of damage, but BKBs are popped to plenty. Dread trying to chase down the Dragon Knight on the backside. We'll find the kill there, but on the front lines, the Radiant side is just getting ripped apart. EGM comes in, drops the dunk. It'll cost him his life. Sven doing a surprising amount of damage here. It's Dread who's the hero, but he will be forced to back out now that his BKB is expired. The Glyph still hasn't been utilized here. Two buybacks used on the Radiant side. Tusk as well as the Darkseer get right back into play. Wall comes out. Dread with a stun onto Weeha. Trying to finish him off. And we'll chase him down. And Weeha on the run. Can Dread find this kill? There's the surge. Chip Choppy gets the kill on the backside. The Dazzle dies. The Sexy Bambo we trying to poke Roman. Bambo. He's going in deep here. He's going to buy a TP and get out. Yep, that's exactly the play. Can he make it? He sure can. So for CO, they get kind of cleaned up towards the end. It's a four for five trade, but one of those fives for 4CL was the... Yeah, following the success of that fight, Sven was able to pick up a Crystalis. Still has about 2,500 gold, so a full Daedalus should be coming before too long. There's F and NJ. They force out the phase shift straight away. Stuns to follow, and this puck is in trouble. Another fight breaking out at the same time. Fakes him out with the orb. Does not jaunt to it. Another phase shift, but EGM's there with the totem, and the fairy dragon will fall. Now Bambo, he died in the mid lane, where it looks like it's not over yet. Calldown's coming off of the gyrocopter. He wants to finish off Dread, but he will TP home in the face of him. Now the the rest of 4CL on the way in, and it's HR on the back foot. They will retreat. It seems they will live. That was a godlike streak ended by the Sven. Huge goal going the way of Dread. All of a sudden, we've got a Daedalus inbound. Items from the Rubik. He is going to go into a Vlad's offering. Uh, does he actually have it completed? Yeah, he sure does. Coming out on the courier. As well as the Manta style recipe on the way for Weeha. But whoa, a fight breaking out. It's going to be the Rubik that goes down first. Good initiation from the Radiant side, but now they're in some trouble. Bambo with the BKB on is just doing too much damage. He trucks the Darkseer and the Puck. Now Dread with nowhere to go. Will get locked down and brought down. That's the dominating streak from him, ended by the Bloodseeker. So Bambo finding some vengeance and a nice little payday to sorts. Uh, to, uh, yeah, they smoke into the Roche pit. They've got a medallion, and they'll be able to take it down. That's an age of security for the Sven. All of a sudden, their lives get a little easier, but 4CL, they're smoked up, and they're in hot pursuit. Do they actually want to initiate this fight, though? Weeha goes in first. Blink forward from EGM. Fissure will connect on Dread, but they go for Roman. The straggler left behind. They'll trim some of that fat off the walrus. Well, once he gets out of this snowball, at least, he's going to roll across, buy himself some time, right into the face of Weeha, and that will secure an easy kill for the gyrocopter. But well played by the Tusk. Create some space for the rest of his team to make it out. They still have the Aegis in tow, and everyone else ambitious about a soul of Sven just charging up the mid lane 35 minutes in. They will go for a smoke in their base. And Sven once again going for Dire Ancients. Uh-oh, they could catch him here. This has been a trap that Dread has fallen into a few times. They put the Rupture out to get things started. BKB's used. Wall vacuum for PSM. Less than ideal. He'll just get turned around on. Manages to get off the mech, but it won't save him. Dread still BKB. Does get healed up. Stormbolt on two. F and NJ comes in. Big follow-up damage there on the high ground. Will find the kills, but on the other side, it's 4CL cleaning up the supports for HR. Who's actually going to win this fight in the end? RMN goes cruising on in. That'll be the end of him. But now Dread's here. Stun on three. Follow up from Puck. They've got AoE damage. But so does 4CL. Dread hits the deck first. Now F and NJ to follow. It's a five-man wipe. A two for five as the Clovers come out big. Very, very big fight right there for Clovers. All right, Shadow Blade saves him here. Sven's still in the grave. Does have a buyback, but of course won't need to burn it. Now the rest of HR moving out of the base. They want to find some consolation kills. Van score without that blink dagger. Limited options. TP on cooldown for another 25 seconds. Maybe he'll get lucky and stay in the trees. He gets scouted out by the shards, and yep, they're going to find him. PSM comes in. Can Van score secure the great escape? Vacuumed back. Telekinesis. Blink forward from the puck. He's making some space, but he won't be able to get away. Good night, sweet Rubik. Hanging this one out like crazy, but they can't get out of the base to do it. Dazzle can't run out there by himself, and of course, when you're dewarding, you know the other team has eyes on you. Both teams have a gem right now. This observer goes down in the mid lane, will get taken out by the dire side. 
pretty damn quick. Van score will get snowballed. Walrus punch, but it seems like it was bait. Roman now stunned up from the high ground. Will get the first shell of grave in this fight. Now Thread hops in. BKB's used. He can't find a target for his storm ball. But whoa, ho, ho, big damage on the dire side. Rubik will fall first. A lot of low health heroes. Dream coil on three, locking them in place. But Dreddy falls. Dragonite brings him down. Another beautiful dunk from EGM to make it all happen. It's a one for three trade. The Clover's weak, but coming out big, making a one for four as they finish off the dazzle to boot. Just the tusk alive at the well. My oh me, the Clover's just too damn tanky in these. Held on to the very end of the case. The fight was already done, but still holds yep. on. They move on forward, and I don't know if this is like we're ever going to see the, the glory holy Wapo combo come up from HR at this point. It seems like Fort Clover is always anticipate, always seems to have a good position, and now look at Bamboo. Hi, ho, ha, cha, bang, boom. Well, the snowball though comes out. Now, now, Apollonia steps in, get a nice silence to the first to finish off the Bambo. But Roman ends up going down regardless with the help of Weeha right there. And it doesn't matter. In the end, the Rax is falling over the place. Two down all day. And one remaining set at the bottom. Half and NJ trying to make the great escape here. Fissure falls a little bit short. Looks like the elusive fairy dragon will live this go around, but now two lanes of Barrack to kill. Might be it. Or it's either a Beck or Roche. One of the two. But they're gonna run to Weeha on the way, so it's gonna turn to Yolo. Right? So you see the gyro jump in. Blink to get the stun. Can they bring him down in time before help can arrive? Holy well, pops to BKB, and he's gonna get the hell out of there. We're in there. We're gonna turn back and fight. Pops to Satanic, but can't anyone to hit with it. And he's done. Ooh, maybe should not have turned back there. Because he goes down, out the sideline, 36 seconds. Unless he decides to buy back, there is still a tier 1 tower back. There is still a tier 1 tower on the bottom lane. It's very yeah. easy to get back towards the road side. I was, I was just going to say, they can contest this if they want to. Take your pick of the litter in terms of towers to TP to Roche getting low. Dread pops the BKB, goes down to the Radiant. Aegis will get picked up by the Puck, not the Sven. Now the real fight breaks out. High ground, BKB's used. Roman stunned up, but will get the snowball off. Waga looking for a target. Goes for the sigil instead. Bambo now stunned by Dread on the low ground. Remember, if Dread dies here, he won't be coming back to life. He's dead. Sven does have a buyback available, but now this Radiant side in trouble. F and NJ will fall. That's the Aegis of the Immortal. Utilized and finished off. Ken Puck make the survival, though. And it seems unlikely. Face shift, blink away. There's already a stolen Storm Bolt ready and waiting. And, uh, yeah, looking like this could be the end for HR. No buyback available on the puck, nor the dazzle. At best, it will be a 4v3 to try to make this final hole. Yep. They will have wall. Darkseer actually came back to the to run through the enemy team just to get back home. So it's like pulling the crease back and away. It's probably one of the worst positions he has to be in on the final defense. He can turn to some sort of flank play. Big vacuum does catch the three, but obviously without a wall or anything else. Ball up, just not there. But again, Red is off a good stun. Decides to target Bambo, but he's going to get quickly hit and locked down. Now they turn back on him. A call down comes out from Weed. Shows about a thin air with the help of his boots of travel. And that's like that. It's going to be game. Match number one is going to be going to the four Clover Kids. Hellraisers now on elimination point. Mm-hmm. GG, well played. Uh, very nicely done by the dire side. The, you know, the four Clovers are really ahead that entire game. The lanes went their way. Mid-game went pretty close to their way. Just a couple of small missteps. Gabe just, just Dazzle and Sven. So there, there's a lot on this Sven to really secure kills in these team fights, and they just simply can't do it. Up top, Glyph will come out. Van Score going to duke it out against PSM to try and find the last hit on this tower. Who gets to deny? Who gets the last hit? Oh, it's Vanscore! He fakes him out! PSM thought he had it, but now Eponinje is on his way in. Vanscore may have denied the tower! Oh, Daddy! He takes the Darkseer with him before the puck finds the kill.